Hey guys, Andy here, and we gotta talk. So I have some pretty bad news to share with you guys, but before we get into that, I also have some other news that I wanna mention as it involves this channel. So right now on the community tab, I posted a poll asking you guys what video you would like to see me make next. And right now the front runner for that is the harsh realities of vlogging in Japan. So that's the video I plan on making next, but I recently got picked up for a major video editing project and I'm gonna be busy for pretty much the rest of my free time this month. So won't be able to really put that video out until at the earliest, early July, maybe, possibly. Um, but because of this major video project, as well as my other obligations, uh, namely with school, uh, probably won't see any edited Andy Japan content until then. But I still do want to do Breakfast in Japan live streams uh, once a week just to put something up on the channel. But as far as edited content, you got to wait until early July at the earliest. So, so I'll put that out there so y'all know. So, let's get into the whole reason I'm even making this video, right? So, a couple hours ago, I got an email from Temple University of Japan talking to me about my application status with them. And sadly, my application was rejected. So they did not give me any reason for it being rejected um, other than just typical corporate speak type dealios. So I don't really know, but uh, I am going to inquire to... Uh, see where we can go from there as far as that goes. But I want to talk about what this means for me as well as the future of this channel. So to be quite honest with you guys, I'm not as heartbroken about it as I thought it would be. You know, I'd actually planned for Temple to reject me. You know, I had like some contingency plans set up in case this would happen. So I'm not entirely blindsided by it. It still hurts. Don't get me wrong, it doesn't feel good to get rejected. But at the same time, I do have contingency plans set up so I can carry on smartly to the next piece of business. So some possibilities for my next move would be to get a freelance visa out here. It's also called a self-sponsor visa. Uh, the main bit of it is that you have to prove that you make X amount every month consistently. So you gotta show bank statements and stuff like that. And you also got to get sponsored by somebody. So right now I'm in talks to get that all set up. But the main thing is obviously the income, right? Because living out here in Japan, my main source of income is through the GI Bill. So if I'm not going to school out here anymore, uh, I'm not going to have that income source to rely on. So I'll have to rely on uh, freelance gigs and things like that. And I do have a couple lined up. Obviously, you know, as I, t as I said earlier, I have the... Uh, the big video project that I'm working on. But uh, as I've learned through freelancing, it's not always a uh, consistent thing. So when times are good, freelancing is good. But uh, when times get a little lean, I'm pretty hard up for gigs. So it's not a super duper reliable source of income, at least for me, not yet. Um, but it is a possibility to allow me to stay out here in Japan and something I'll be looking into. Now, another possibility for me would be to transfer out to the main campus of Lakeland University of Japan out at Sheboygan, Wisconsin. So this was actually the main plan that I was considering, my main plan B, <laughs> as it were, um, should Temple reject me. And the nice thing about transferring over to the main campus from the Japan campus is that all my credits will transfer over one to one, so I won't have to worry about uh, any credit conversion or any of that other stuff as it involves, you know, like Linear University of Japan credits. As far as my other credits from other universities, eh, it might depend, but uh, as far as Lakeland goes, it's a one to one transfer. But another really awesome thing about that is that um, I'll also get a very generous scholarship to me if I transfer over to the main campus. So it's a tiered scholarship based on your GPA. So as my GPA stands right now, 
I'm set to get $14,000. Uh, but if I can bump that up just a little bit to a 3.5 or above, then I can max it out at 16,000. So for me, I'm only like, like 0.1 or 0.2 uh, points away from bumping that up. Um, so it is a very real possibility for me if I continue to uh, get the grades that I'm getting right now. So how do I feel about this whole thing? Um, again, this all happened uh, just a few hours ago, so it's really hard for me to, to process everything right now. But like I said, I already had con contingency plans in place should something like this happen. So I'm not as heartbroken about it as I thought it would be. Um, I definitely do have some plans to move forward with it. And I also want to inquire a little bit as to why I got rejected. Uh, don't know if it's going to go anywhere because you know how things are. But uh, it'd be nice to know. And if there's anything I can do to help maybe sway their decision. So that's another thing I'll be looking into in the morning. I have a lot of questions and a lot of things to do. Uh, come tomorrow to hopefully figure out a uh, a more ironed out plan moving forward, but I do have some basic plans to uh, to get me started. So um, not all is lost for you, boy. The Andy Sands Hamadeshta, and uh, you know, as far as this channel goes, you know, I'm sure you guys are probably wondering. Well, you know, if if I do end up going back to America, is this channel going to get shut down or put on ice until I go back to Japan again? And I just want to let you all know that that's not going to be the case. So uh, my plan, should I end up going back to America, my plan for this channel would be to continue it through some sort of Japan-related series. Uh, I might continue just doing like Andy Talks Japandy type stuff, you know, talking about my experiences out here, um, both when I was stationed in Yokosuka as well as living out here on a student visa and also document my process for coming back to Japan as well under a work visa. So the channel started in America, so it's not going to be anything new to uh, continue to make that quality Japan content back in America as well. And, you know, you guys have been so, so good to me, and you've really raised a good, strong, vibrant community here, and it would just be such a shame to just shut it down, you know. So I do want to continue this channel in some capacity, whether it's just through the Andy Talks Japandi stuff or maybe doing like a language learning sort of thing where I actually figure out some dang old Nihongos, you know, and uh, go through it that way. So some content will change, obviously, since I won't be in Japan, but I do want to keep this channel going, so don't worry. <laughs> There's a lot of things for me to think about moving forward. Um, it's not the end, you know. Even if I do have to end up going back to America to finish out my degree, uh, my plan from there would be to come back again to Japan <laughs> under a work visa or possibly uh, applying for the JET program. But that's far from the future. I don't want to get too into the weeds with it just yet, but it is a possibility. So just want to let y'all know that uh, even though I got rejected, I'm maintaining a positive attitude about things, and uh, we're going to continue on smartly from here. So with all that said, guys, I want to thank you so much for being a part of this really good community here at Andy Japandi um, HQ, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> we were here at this channel and for supporting me during these rough times and uh, other times as well. So, with all that said, guys, this is the Andy Sign. Sign for now. And I mean this, as always and forever. We'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.